You are overcomplicating the pinnacle rearrangement mechanism. It's just four steps. Let's get into it. The first thing we want to do for our pinnacle rearrangement mechanism is protonate the OH. In this case, because this is symmetrical on either side, it doesn't matter which OH we choose. So in this case, I'm just going to pick this one. So I'm going to protonate, just meaning that we're going to add a proton. Electrons move on to this oxygen, making it neutral. Now we've formed that water. Remember, water is a great leaving group, so that's going to leave. That's our second step. Now that this left, we're now going to form our carbocation. Now our next step is going to be our rearrangement step, which is a methyl shift. So in this case, I'm going to move this entire methyl group to this carbon. We'll see that here. And since we're moving this over, our carbocation is now here on the opposite carbon. Next, note that this is resonance stabilized, is carbocation. So I will show resonance because we can move these electrons here, forming that double bond. And of course, note that because we move this and this makes this carbon neutral, the oxygen now is going to be positively charged. Our last step to form our ketone is to deprotonate. So using water, we're going to remove a proton from that OH. These electrons now move on to the oxygen, making it neutral and forming that carbonyl group. And we see we found the ketone here. So again, we still have that methyl shift that we showed. This is now that carbonyl group. This would have been our product. Check out more of my videos to stay ahead.